Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hidden here. Welcome to our live sale. This, what day is it today? Tuesday, June 20. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you guys are all having a great start to your week. Also, if you guys are watching this live after it's already over, you can check down below in the description box under the availability and their pricing is right there. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. So happy to have you here. And if it's your first time to live sale, welcome. Um, say hi in the live chat. All the info for the live sale is right here. And if you can't read it, it'll be down below in the description box as well. And I think that's it. Um, let's see who's in here. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Hi, Tanya. Hi, Purple Rain. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Trip. How's it going? DG House. Hi, guys. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Hey, Lady Badger, Tara, Cindy, hello. Is everyone having a good day today? What's Ayatollah of rock and roll? <laughs> hey, Marjorie. Hi, Linda. Hi, Renee. Oh, hello, Renee. In Texas. How's it going? If I look a little red, it's because I am sunburnt today. I don't know. Can you, can you, my, yeah, you can see on my arms a lot more. Um, I am so sunburnt. I spent the whole day outside uh, working on the garden. I was power washing. Power washing is so satisfying, but you just kind of get lost in it. And I got so sunburnt power washing everything oh my gosh melissa happy early birthday Ooh, i'm so sorry i missed your bag job oh my gosh uh you guys gotta give her a follow is she in here right now i don't even see but um my bag crush is something latte i think when she comes into the live chats her name is something latte but she also does resell and she had a sale earlier today, I think like an hour or two ago, and she had some amazing stuff. A Tannosaurus? <gasps> I am super tan. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. Oh, you're very welcome, Kathleen. I was like, I gotta find Kathleen a case. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you guys had fun in something lattes live. Let me um this is her Instagram. Give her a follow on um her Instagram for something latte and then on there she has links to her other Instagram account where she does her live sales and she also has a YouTube channel too. So it's Instagram. There you go. And then I think her, like, her reselling, is it my underscore? I think it is. Instagram. Um, my underscore bag crush. I think that's her reselling Instagram link. I hope I, is, I think that's right. So I think it's my underscore. Uh, oh my gosh, it was 105 there. It was, I think the high here was only like 80, 80, low 80s. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was really sunny and it hasn't been sunny like this in a while. Yesterday it was like pretty overcast and today it was just sunny the whole day. So I am definitely burnt to a crisp. <gasps> there was an Hermes tote? What kind of tote was it? I can't believe I missed it. Ooh, that's so, that sounds exciting, DG House. 
Ooh, if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question too, I have another pair of key sunglasses today for the giveaway. And they are these fun aviators. They're gold aviators, great lenses. Like, and they have like a cool kind of like, prefer or like, I don't know exactly what to call the way the metal is, but it looks really cool. Oh, Ellen, yes, I did see your email. I'm so sorry I forgot to reply to you. Um, yes, I will keep an eye out for it. It's like that that puffy Kate Spade bag, right? I, you know what? Someone actually sent me an email. Was it you too? I know someone else asked me about it before, but it was like sometime like last year. And I have been looking for that bag, but... Whenever I see it, like, online, it's always, like, the resale is always really expensive. And I haven't seen it in person in any stores yet, so. But I'm definitely keeping an eye out for it. Favorite summer drink? All right, let's do that, Melissa. I want to know what everyone's favorite summer drink is. What is your favorite summer beverage? Um, Vadrian has a new favorite drink, that's why. And apparently it's some really high sugar <laughs> starbucks strawberry drink <laughs> but there's the link for today's uh, giveaway and leave your answer in the comments of the video and at the end of today's live sale we're going to be announcing our giveaway winner I think I saw that Chanel tote. I saw it on her Instagram. It was like it was like a leather Chanel tote, right? It was like a I think it was like a vintage style. That tote is so pretty. Okay, so that's the question for today. But let me know, like, actually leave your, like, favorite drink in, like, the comments here, too. Because I, I want to know what it is. I, I, I think I'm going to go to Starbucks tomorrow. So I might want to get a new... I want to try something new. Though, I, I don't want it to be something too high in carbs and calories. <laughs> I've been really bad recently. Paris Baguette has ruined my diet. I keep going there. I just went there yesterday with Eliza after his gymnastics class, and I bought so much bread, and I ate it. All of it. Hi, Jay Sweet. How are you? <laughs> All right, Tanya. Ooh, Melissa, I can't wait for you to get it, too. That bag is so adorable. I still can't believe that it came with all this stuff inside still, too. Oh, you're still in Indonesia? How are you liking it? Is the food so good? Indonesian food is so delicious. All right, let's get started. I'm eating too much ice cream. <gasps> I would be eating too much ice cream, except the kids eat the ice cream so quickly. Those boys, I don't know, I don't even know when they're eating it, because I'll go to the freezer, and, like, there'll be, like, no more ice cream left, and it's, like, the day after we bought, like, a bunch of ice cream. <gasps> Sam, they never have the lemon cronut at our, well, I haven't seen it yet, at our Paris baguette. I haven't seen it. I, the only cronut that I've had is the coffee one, and then it's just like the regular one with like the um, sugar on it. Oh, Deborah, we missed you too. How was your vacation? Oh, Lady Badger, I love coffee ice cream. Iced London Fog? What's an Iced London Fog? 
sounds delicious. I love anything with London. Ah, uh, Sam, now I'm going to have to go look for it tomorrow. <laughs> when I went yesterday with Eliza, it was already like, it was after 7. Because his gymnastics ends at 7 o'clock. And then they literally had only two cronuts left. And I bought both of them. And I ate one and a half of them. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah, Linda, how are you doing today? You feeling better? Growing boys hollow legs. <laughs> Kathleen, that's the first time I've ever heard of that expression, but I like it. They are growing so quickly. Especially Cade. I don't know. He's like taller than his mom now. Oh, that's awesome to hear, Deborah. That's right. You guys were, um, you rented like uh, the beach house or something, right? Oh, I bet that was so much fun. I literally almost jumped into the pool today, but then I didn't. Because uh, I... It was so hot working outside. Okay, let's start with our first item. I'm going to give it some first. You can okay, there you go. It was stuck. Okay, our first item for the day is the cutest little Kate Spade crossbody wallet on a chain. And this one is new with tag, still has the Kate Spade tag on it. And it's a black Safiano, and it has a cute little cat face on there. Um, the little whiskers are actually like metal, and then it has a jewel nose. And then leather pieces for the ears that are sewn on. There is a nice back pocket right here. And it has a little snap that opens. And then when you open it, there's actually a second snap right here. And then that opens up. And then this is a zipper pocket. You got your card key, your card keys, <laughs> your card slots right there. And then this is actually a phone pocket up top. And it's a really good size phone pocket because... My phone fits in here with my case and my pop socket, and it just, it fits in there beautifully. And everything still closes really well. So this is a really good size. I do most, I'll actually show you the, um, I'll, show, I'll start showing the Chanel for this one. Though you might have seen them already, but I'll show them again but uh yeah so this is our first item this is our kate spade cat wallet on chain black safiano with light gold hardware new with tags and we're gonna do this one for 75 dollars that's gonna be item number one for our kitty cat Yeah. Alright, next up, one more look before we go on to the next item. So cute. Oh, the crossbody strap too is removable, and that way you can just use it as a wallet or a clutch. So, you can take off that crossbody strap. Um, let's do this one first. This is a Chanel belt bag, and it's in this metallic silver. It's a darker silver. It's more like a... It's not like a like a light silver. I don't even know what to call it. But it's more like a pewtery, darker silver color, which is great. And it has like a matching ruthenium colored hardware. And there's a zipper pocket back here. Which is perfect. You can put your cell phone inside of here or a wallet. And then the main compartment opens up nice and big. And then inside here, just has one interior pocket. This is the little certificate of authenticity that it'll come with as well. And this bag, it's the strap is a really, really good size. It should fit up to like a 36, 38 inch waist. But you can also wear it as a body bag like this, which is fantastic. It does have a little bit of like color loss. I do have the color to touch it up. 
though I just didn't touch it up just in case anyone likes it like this. I kind of like the worn in kind of like lived look of this belt bag. So I have left it though. If you want me to, I will touch it up. Um, but it's just like on the little corners right here where there's that color loss. And there's a little bit of it on the back. And the front is in pretty good shape. There might be a little color loss right there by where the zipper is. But again, I can touch it up for you. What V Drain? Vina. <laughs> hi Don, how are you? Vadrian says hi. And yeah, so this is our second item. This is our silver quilted Chanel belt bag with gunmetal hardware. And this one is... Okay, we had this one, I think, at $1,900. I'm going to do a discount today, and we're going to do $1,750. So, I think this is... This is probably the lowest that I could do this one, but it's a beautiful belt bag. I really like the style of this one too. It's really, really cute. So there's item number two. And then number three is going to be... Oh, I have, this is just a Vera Bradley, like, little crossbody bag. It's, like, quilted, and it's a, like, a nylon fabric. There's a front pocket that's zippered right here. There's another pocket behind it. The lining is really pretty. It has, like, this flower um, design. And the main compartment just has two pockets inside of there. Crossbody strap is adjustable. And then there also is a nice pocket right here on the back. Uh, the bag is in pretty good shape. Um, I don't think there's like any major signs of wear or anything on it. And it has silver hardware. Just a great little fabric crossbody bag. And this is going to be item number three. Our blue quilted nylon Vera Bradley crossbody bag with silver hardware. And we're going to do this one for just $15. That's going to be item number three. Our Vera Bradley for $15. Next up, item number four. And I have... Uh, let's do a pair of sunglasses. Okay, I have these Fendi sunglasses. They're in a tortoiseshell color with a gradient brown lens. And then they have the Fendi spell out on the sides right there. Ooh, Melissa, that sounds so nice. I should do a, I should do a live sale outside. That would be really fun. Like in the patio. <gasps> Ooh, when I get the patio done, let's do a live sale outside. Though I feel like the birds might be intense. And they might poop on the computer or something. The birds are crazy. <gasps> there's um there's a little hummingbird nest on our like what kind of tree is it? It's some sort of ficus tree in our courtyard. And the hummingbirds are so cute. Like there's I think there's three or four little baby hummingbirds in the nest and they are just like so tightly inside it like they're like inside like I don't even know how they can move it's just like their little heads popping out and they're so <gasps> wait I have a video hold on hi everyone Steffi timeless jewelry by Deborah hello hi Brit okay you guys hold on I'm so sorry I have to show you guys Um, okay, here's a photo, and then I also do have a video. 
But the video isn't that good because we took the video from inside. Uh, because we, like, every time we're out there, the mama bird, like, is, like, flies the way and stuff, you know? And so... Where is it? Oh, there they are! Look at them! Yeah, there's four of them in there. So, those are the little baby hummingbirds. And they are so, 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 so cute. Hi, Marion! And then, where is the video? Oh, here's a video of the baby birds themselves from outside. I can put that one up. And then I have a video with um, the mama bird. They're so cute. Oh, there we go. Look at them. They're blinking. They stay really still. My mom, like, saw them and she thought that they were, like, dead. Like, they, like, were, like, petrified or, like, frozen or something. And she was like, no, the little hummingbirds are, like, not alive anymore. And I was like, what? And then I was like, no, they're, they're just, like, trying not to move. <laughs> and then we, yeah. So, they're totally fine. Where's that video, though? <gasps> oh, this is the mama bird feeding them. Okay, here. How do I get this out of here? Back to the camera. <gasps> right? I haven't either, Deborah. So it was very exciting. Uh, we always have a lot of hummingbirds around the house, and this is our first year, I think, having a hummingbird nest um, at the house. We always get a lot of finches that have, like, there's, like, three or four finch uh, nests in that, like, in our backyard. Look at that! They're so cute! But yeah, just a short little video. Okay, that's enough of that. Sorry, I, I just had to share... I just thought it was so cute. But those are the little babies. Uh, yeah, Kathleen. When they shed, like, their little baby feathers. They're, like, that iridescent color. <laughs> right, Marjorie? They're, like, literally, like, so stuck inside the nest. Like, it's so cute. I don't think um, any... We don't have any other birds in the nests anymore around the house. The last set of baby birds, other than the hummingbirds, they were um, some sort of finch or something that are in the, they had a nest inside, or on top of the, it's like a light that we have in the entryway, like vestibule, I don't know, in, outside in front of the house. And those baby birds finally flew away. So, there's no birds there anymore. I wonder... <laughs> Trip! No, not the babies. Not the babies. Though I always see quail, too, in the backyard. And I'm always like, ooh, I wonder if they have any quail eggs. Because quail eggs are delicious. You guys have ever had those. My mom actually found some, like, organic quail eggs at Trader Joe's the other day. Okay, this, I forgot about sunglasses, this is number four. Fendi tortoise shell sunglasses with spell out on sides. And how much is this one, Peter? Okay, we're going to do these for 150 That's going to be item number four. We're going to discount those. To 150. I think we had them at like 175 before. So that's gonna be item number four for our Fendi sunglasses. Timeless jewelry. Oh, Purple Rain's calling them. Congratulations, Purple Rain. Woo! Uh, what was I gonna tell you guys? Oh, um, we have owls. 
Hawks and Est. <gasps> That's cool. We have um we have a hawk that like lives somewhere around here and it terrorizes the birds when they're in the fountain. So that's always sad. <laughs> in a second, yeah. Oh, port Yeah, I think so, Marisol. Thank you. Portico. I think that's what it's called. It's like the front, the front door. It's like covered or whatever. And it's just like a little covered area. And then we have like a lantern light. That's right there. Okay, next up, we got number five. And for number five... Uh, let's do... Oh, I still have mustard. This is our mustard, our Chanel yellow backpack. It's clear up top, and then it's a yellow glazed leather. Silver hardware. Um, it's a glazed leather. It's not a patent, so... Yeah, I like a glazed leather better than a patent. It just has a little bit more of a protective coating over it, uh, which is perfect since it's kind of like a summer bag, and... You could bring this to the beach. It'd be super cute. Um, it's clear up top. We have a little turn lock right here. And the compartment on the bottom kind of opens like a makeup bag. Like that. There is a little bit of discoloration inside that fabric inside of there. Um, I will try to remove that discoloration further. But just know that there is a little bit of discoloration on the inside right there. The exterior, though, is in really great shape. The plastic also... Um, up top, the PVC is in great condition as well. The top handle actually extends like this, and then you can carry this as a shoulder bag, and then that extends into the back straps like that, which are also adjustable back there. And the bag does have little feet on the bottom too, which is awesome. And it has the little CC turn lock, and then it has um, in silver, and then it has yellow enamel. Um, or, I don't know exactly, or plastic around it as well, which is cool. And I think I said silver hardware. This is item number six. Or five. Okay, so this is our yellow Chanel backpack with clear top. Silver hardware. And this is how much we're doing? Okay. No, okay, this one is $1,850. That's gonna be item number five. Or should we discount that one? You know what? I'm gonna discount it more. I'm gonna do $1,750 like the belt bag. So $1,750, and that's gonna be item number five so we'll take another hundred dollars off of that one i know vadrian we're going crazy summer sale uh number six is next oh yeah okay let's do the red chanel next oh okay so this one is one of my favorite little chanel bags this is our red chanel accordion flap the accordion it, it holds so much it's amazing it's in this beautiful aged red leather. It's a uh, calfskin leather. And it has the quilting all around. It has silver hardware. And the crossbody strap is a convertible. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this or extend it and wear it as a crossbody. There is a back pocket right there. And it has a secret pocket on the side. It's one of my favorite things. I love that secret pocket. It's so cool. And then turn lock opens up. And depending on how much you put in here, it dictates how big the bag's gonna be. So if you don't have that much, it gets tiny, which is awesome. And then it expands when you put in a lot of stuff. There's three compartments, and then there's just one zippered compartment in the very back. The inside is nice and clean. And this bag is in such a beautiful condition. There might be a little bit of like, um, I don't know, like, discoloration on the glazing at, at the top, but nothing else really notable at all. Beautiful bag. 
Okay, and then this one is going to be how much, Vader? This is going to be number six. This is our red Chanel accordion flat bag with silver hardware. And this is... Um, no, the corners are in really good condition. I think, like, there's just, like, a little bit of, like, color, like, at the top. It's, like, a little bit darker. And... I think that's it. And I know, look, um, on the side right here, too, it looks like there's a split in the glazing. That's actually intentional. That's supposed to be there. It's that way, so it um, it doesn't actually crack, because that's, like, a stress point. So it's actually supposed to be separated right there, where that glazing is. So it's not actually a crack in the glazing. That it's um, You see that on both sides. Okay. Oh, hi, Angela. How are you? Okay, this one is going to be... What's the best price we can do this one for, Vaderin? Let's see... Um... I think the best I can do on this one would be 2,100. Yeah, let's do 2,100. Okay. Yeah, we have this one at 25. Or should we... Do I do... Would I go crazy and just do 2,000? Okay, you know what? I'm going to do a flat 2,000. Hopefully, I'm not going to lose any money on that one. But $2,000 for item number six. That's our red Chanel accordion flap. And with silver hardware. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, that always does help the channel immensely. Okay, so that is number six, our red Chanel accordion flap. She's a beauty. And our next item is going to be number seven. And let's do... Oh, you know, I still have this little wallet, too. This is um, an MCM wallet. It's a full set. It comes with a box, dust bag, and all of the little cards and booklets and stuff are right inside of there as well. And it has the embossed MCM. Come on, focus. Right there. It's in this taupe leather. And then there's a pocket. Whoop. Pocket right here. <laughs> it has like an indentation of the card on it, but it's still in great shape. There's a little bit of discoloration and rubbing just in this one corner. Otherwise, it's in really, really great shape. There's no other imperfections or marks on there. And the interior, nice and clean, it has two main compartments and then they each have like a little pocket behind it. And there is a little key holder right there. And then you can leave it out and then have it zipped up or you can Drop that inside like that. But it's a really good color. It's really pretty taupe. And this is going to be 7 MCM taupe monogram key card coin case with gold hardware. And... 
Okay, we're gonna do this one at 150. That's gonna be item number seven. Bless you, Adrian. Did you ever find your wallet? Still no. Are you ever gonna cancel your cards? <laughs> Vadrian's like, no one's using my cards. So it's probably still somewhere inside the house. So I'm not going to cancel my cards yet. And I'm like, <laughs> don't you want to cancel them before that happens? Alright, next up is number eight. Uh, now you're triggering my allergies because you started sneezing. I'm just like having sympathetic allergies. Uh, let's do... Oh, let's see this guy next. Alright, this is number eight. And this is a really cute... Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Okay. This is a Rebecca Minkoff. Hey, Jean, how are you? This is a Rebecca Minkoff um, little flat bag. It's in this like gray taupe color and it has like these studs on the top flap or on the top handle and then along the front there's no studs on the back though and there is a pocket right here it's magnetic and crossbody strap is removable and adjustable the top handle too is um i believe it is also removable. oh yeah you can also remove this little top handle too which is pretty cool so you can remove that um, little turn lock right here. There is a little bit of just like discoloration right there. That's just, just from the friction of the hardware when it's closed. So you see that like when you um, open that up like that. Um, there's the front. No, this is that bag. Um, I think I showed it in this morning's video that had the pen marks on it. So I was able to remove the pen marks. So it looks really, really good. The interior is a microfiber, and there's actually built-in card slots inside of there. There's three, and then there's a pocket right there in the back. Hadrian went crazy. <laughs> Marion. All right, so this is going to be item number eight. This is a Rebecca Minkoff um, taupe gray leather flap bag with antique brass hardware and stud details. And this is going to be... We're going to do this one for $50. That's going to be item number eight. Number eight. She's really cute. She got, um, There's a Valentino bag that looks very similar to this, except it has like the little like studs on it and this one just has like little flat studs but it's really cute and this is Rebecca Minkoff right there on the back what if the phone will fit inside the back oh <gasps> ooh, phone does fit back there that's cool that's always a plus and you can fit your phone into the back pocket it's nice all right so that was item number eight next up we got number nine Let's do another pair of sunglasses. Sunglasses. <laughs> you guys watch um, that show, Daria? I was doing the Sandy voice. This is our next item. This is a pair of Fendi sunglasses. This one will come with the box, which is very exciting. Um, and it's in this really like light pink in the inside. I think it looks almost like a tan, but it's like a light nude pink in there. And here are the sunglasses. They're these giant sunglasses. These are so cute. I love the arms. They look like little lightning bolts on the side. And they are in a gold metal, but then the front is in like a black. And then it has these like black jewel studs on the top corners. They look like that on. They are a really, really cute size. Oh, thanks, Linda. It's a cute bag, right? It's a really cute style. So these are the sunglasses. They have a gradient, um, like a brown lens. And they do have the nose pieces, too. And these sunglasses are actually pretty light. 
which is really nice, even though they're like a really large sunglass. And these are gonna be item number nine. And Fendi large square sunglasses with gold hardware and black studs. Okay, we're gonna discount these to 165. And that's going to be item number nine. Yeah. I think we had them originally at 180 or something. 185, yeah. Okay. So that is number nine. Our Fendi sunglasses. Next up is number ten. So cute. Let's do... Okay, this is so cute. Um, I was gonna keep this, but I can't hoard all of these things. This is a anthropology bowl, and it has these little cats all around. It has three gold cats, and the rest of them are just like drawn on, like in like black, and then you got like the little gold ones. And then inside, you also got a cat right there too. A little gold cat. Really, really cute. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can eat out of this. Or if it's just, like, for looks. So I would probably just use it as, like, a catch-all or something. Plus, you wouldn't want to wash away the gold. So I would probably just use it more decoratively than anything else. Um, but it's really, really cute. So you just have the little cat. Anthropology, this is number 10. Um, anthropology cat bowl. And this one's gonna be how much, Peter? Okay, we're doing this one for, um, let's do $10 for number 10. That's for our little anthropology cat bowl. 10 for 10. All right, next up. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it! Yay! Congratulations, Purple Rain! So cute! Little kitty cats. Sunglasses. Alright, next up. Um, backpacks, duffel bags, fashion. <gasps> I don't think I have any duffel bags. Do I have any sneakers right now? I don't have them. I didn't see them when I was at the movie and stuff. You have, you, do you have them? Sorry, Adrian's asking me about a certain pair of sneakers that I used to have, and I don't have them anymore. Maybe, maybe they sold. No? You must have them. Because I looked through all my shoes already. I don't have those. I sold a lot of my shoes recently to um, Crossroads. Like, older shoes that I haven't sold. Uh, so I don't have as many shoes as I used to. And the rest of them, I literally have them in the car. Because I was going to take them <laughs> to the store. I would take a crossroads today to sell them, but I didn't go today, and now they're just melting inside the car. So I don't, um, but I'm sorry, gem drops. I don't have any, I don't think I have any backpacks, and I don't have any duffel bags at the moment either. I'm sorry. What size are you in shoes, gem drops? Kathleen, yes, I'm sorry. My mom is already, she already put flowers in it, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, next up, we got number 11. Okay. 
And I have this Kate Spade satchel. And it's in a black pebbled leather gold hardware with a pocket right here in the back. And it has like this cute little kind of like buckle detail with little tassels on the front. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. Interior is lined in a microfiber and you have a middle dividing zipper pocket right here. And then there's just one other pocket right there in the back with a little snap. It's super clean on the inside. The exterior is in really great shape too. I think the only signs of wear are that there's just a couple little marks and some slight discoloration to the feet on the bottom of the bag. Other than that, the bag is in fantastic condition. And this is going to be item number 11. And this is our black Kate Spade satchel with front buckle detail and gold hardware. And this guy is... Hi, Madame Goomba. How are you? Okay, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna discount it to $55. It's gonna be item number 11. She's a cutie. Next up, I have this Dior Extra Large Saddle. This one's in black pebbled leather, brass hardware. This is the extra large size. See the hardware right there. The hardware down there at the bottom. There's a front pocket right here, it's magnetic, and then it also does have a zipper. And then interior, it's nice and large. The crossbody strap too is fully adjustable. Um, the top flap, the under part is in suede, and then the interior is in the Dior fabric, and there's just one zipper pocket right inside, and then has my little certificate of authenticity right there that'll come with it but yeah super cute good night melissa all right so this is gonna be item number 12 black um dior saddle bag with anti hardware and this was Okay, this is 1650 for our Dior. That's number 12. And then 13. Oh, I want to do a yellow bag. The yellow is my favorite color. Oh, Lady Badger, you can't sleep. I'm sorry. Okay, this is our next item. And it's a Tory Burch, the yellow phone bag. And it's in this yellow quilted leather with gold hardware. The crossbody strap is a chain with the leather woven through. And it is removable, so you can just use this as a, like a wallet or a pouch if you wanted. Um... It zips up top. The interior has three built-in card slots and phone fits inside beautifully. And you can even use this like as, a, as like a sunglass case or something like so your sunglasses inside of there too. And then you have the built-in card slots. You don't need a card wallet inside, but you can still fit like a card case inside as well. Oh, no, I'll show that one next. Um, okay, so this is a yellow quilted Tory Burch phone bag with gold hardware. And this guy is... Okay, we're going to do this one for 65 That's going to be number 13. And then uh, let's do that pink. It was, it was the pink Rebecca Minkoff, I think, right? Okay. 
This is a pink Rebecca Minkoff. This one is uh, brand new with tags. I'm still attached. The car, this is called the Megan Mini Tote. And it's in this beautiful, vibrant pink color with silver hardware. There's a back pocket right here. And then a little snap in the front. And it's lined in black leather as well. And it just has one pocket right here. Still has like some of the, um, like the styrofoam padding and stuff in the inside. The crossbody strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. And bottom looks like there's the back again. It has just recommend coffin silver right there. It's really, really cute. And this is number 14. This is our uh, pink. Rebecca Satchel with silver hardware. And this guy is we did this one for a hundred and five. That's gonna be item number fourteen. Yeah, it's not like the biggest. Kind of like a small, medium size. It's kind of like the size of like a Celine Nano. Ooh, but how cute is it with the yellow? I love the bright colors. Okay, 14 is up next. Oh, wait, I have some over here. Okay, I got some goodies. I had hiding over there and I totally forgot that I had. Um, I have, this is a really cool Ferragamo shoulder bag. Um, it's vintage and it is in a, like a nylon canvas and then has a leather top flap and then a leather shoulder strap with gold hardware. There's a little bit of fading of the gold on the buckle. The gold on here though is in good shape. It just has like light marks on it. But it's a nice little shoulder bag. That's a really good size though. And the fabric is in really good shape. I love the way the leather looks. It's like aged beautifully. And then the, that top flap is magnetic. There's a front pocket right here when you open it up. And then the main compartment of the bag looks like this. It just has one zipper pocket right here. And it's like nice and clean on the inside. Um, the bag is actually in really good condition. Nice vintage shape. I, know, I just really like the look of it. I think it's really cool. So this is number 14, vintage Ferragamo nylon canvas and leather flat bag with gold hardware and this is brown and this is how much Peter? okay let's do this one for $45 that's gonna be item number 14 for 45 our vintage Ferragamo actually it's supposed to be 15 I'm sorry this is item number 15 our vintage Ferragamo. Adrian, Adrian, tell me that was on the number. Okay, so there's the right number. I'm sorry, this one's 15. Next up, we got 16. Okay. 
Yeah, thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, I'm sorry. I put the wrong number. Okay, next up is... Uh, let's do... Okay, I have this extra large. Um, this is a stony clover black leather tote bag. And it's fully leather. The shoulder strap is nice and long, so you can carry it really nicely on your shoulder. The bag is a really good size. Um, this is regular stony clover. It's not like stony clover for Target. Um, I forgot what the retail of this is. The retail of this bag though is pretty expensive. Uh, a couple, like, couple hundred, like four, maybe hundred, something like that. Uh, but it's unlined on the inside. It's just suede, and then this stony clover tag is right there. And yeah, the inside is super clean. There's no like stains or marks or anything of that nature on the inside. And the exterior is also in great shape too. Just a nice thick leather and yeah, it's a great tote bag. This is going to be item number 16, our black uh, stony clover pebbled leather tote bag, and it doesn't have any hardware, but the writing on there is gold. I don't know if that matters to anyone as far as like the color of the hardware goes, but yeah, there's no hardware on this bag at all. It's just fully leather. There's no feet or anything on the bottom, and this is gonna be. Okay, we're going to do this one for $85. It's going to be item number 16. Stony Clover. Well, I remember when I had that Stony Clover backpack, like that white one. That was a nice backpack. I really like this tote. It's a good size. And a nice leather. Uh, 17 is next. Seventeen, I have this metallic silver, the Marc Jacobs drawstring bucket bag. It has a nylon strap. This one is in like new condition. It has gold hardware, no feet. It does come with a little card inside of there. Interior just has one zipper pocket. And then, this is also like a new style too, so, right there, and this is number 17, metallic, silver, pebbled, leather, Marc Jacobs drawstring crossbody bag with black nylon strap and gold hardware. And this guy is going to be how much, Peter? So we're doing this one for just $95. That's at 120. I'm gonna discount that a good amount. So that's gonna be number 17 for 95. And then up next we have number 18. Um, I have another pair of Fendi sunglasses. These are also a tortoise shell. Very similar in shape and style to the other one. Uh, this is just a daintier style, I guess. Like the the actual size of the frames are smaller, but the size of the actual sunglasses are the same, if that makes sense. Um, also, the logo is different on the side. This was, has like the little round F Fendi logo on the hardware and the hardware is in a gunmetal color. So it's a gunmetal and then uh, 
tortoise shell. So this is going to be item number 18. These are tortoise shell Fendi sunglasses with gradient brown lenses and gun metal hardware with the round F Fendi logo. And these are going to be how much favorite? Okay, we're going to do this one for 160 and that's going to be item number 18 for our Fendi sunglasses, 160 That's for number 18. All right, 19 is next. And for 19, I have, this is a pink long chomp pebbled leather wallet. It has a little back pocket right there. It has a little snap closure. Card slots, card slots, there's more card slots. This is the zipper pocket, change pocket. It's in pretty good shape inside of there, actually. There's slight discoloration at the bottom inside of there, otherwise it's in pretty good shape. And then you have just a bill slot and then another bill slot behind right there. Um, the interior is in really good condition. Exterior has some slight rubbing, like on the corners. Nothing crazy. Um, I think there's like a, like a light scratch. Do you see that right there? You can only see it from like certain angles though, but yeah. And then it just has long chomp and buzzed right there on the front. So this is gonna be number 19, pink long chomp wallet with silver hardware. And this is gonna be We're going to do this one for $65. It's going to be item number uh, 19, or 18, sorry. A really cute... <laughs> no way, he's like one of those like hyper-flexible people. <laughs> Hi, my fair girly, how are you? Alright, so that was number 19. Next up, we got number 20. Okay. I have this is a the Balenciaga um large day bag and it's in a black leather and gunmetal hardware. It has a crossbody strap, which is really nice. This is the updated style too, because it has the thicker strap. The older version of this bag had a thinner one. But it's a really, really great crossbody. Holds a ton. And this is gonna be like a zombie. <laughs> Our black a uh, large Balenciaga day bag in black with gun metal hardware. And this one is going to be how much bigger? Oh, my fair girly is calling number 13. That was our Tory Burch. Congratulations, my fair girly. Number 13 is going to you. She's a beauty. Congratulations. Okay, we're going to do this one for 500. We're going to discount it from what we had it before. So 500 for our Balenciaga um, large day bag. This actually comes in one size larger, which is the extra large, but I feel like that one was massive. This one I think is like such a good size. You could even fit a laptop inside of here if you wanted. Okay, so this is number 20. Alright. 
Next up, we got number 21. And let's do... Oh, well, oh, Purple Rain, were you calling number 20 or were you just... Did you just accidentally press it? Okay. It's okay. Alright, next up, 21. Is... My arm is so burnt. Look at me. It doesn't even come up as bur like that burnt on camera, but like my farmer's tan is even more intense. And like the underside of my arm is so light that it's like I'm just like all different colors. I'm a mess. Uh, it's starting to get itchy. I need to put some lotion on it. Uh, I did not put enough sunblock on my arms. I was wearing like this giant hat, so my face didn't get like too burnt. But like, I had like three layers of sunblock on my face too. Hey, Hana, how are you? What's up? Okay, our next item is gonna be. Um, this little coach dinky. And it's in this brown leather. This one is actually my mom's. So this is for my mom's collection. Uh, it still has the little sticker on the hardware. This is a navy stripe down the middle, and then it's flanked by uh, these like maroon suede stripes. There's a back pocket. It does have the original hang tag. This has gunmetal hardware. Crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. And then interior, there's one pocket right here in the front. And then there's another pocket right there in the inside. And it's in really great, like, new condition. Hi, Odelia. How's it going? Yeah, I'll probably, like, this will probably just turn into a tan. It is just, like, kind of, like, red and itchy at the moment but yeah my face no longer like tans too easily anymore it's probably because of all this stuff I put on my face but I have like a permanent farmer's tan like this will never go away like this never gets dark like it'll burn and then it'll just become this color again I don't know like the melanin doesn't go up there anymore it just like stays on the rest of my body all right, so how much was this one, Vijayan? Okay, so we're gonna do this guy for 85. This is a brown coach dinky with stripes and gun metal hardware. Okay, wait, what did I say again? 85? Yeah, okay, 85. That's number 21. Okay, next up, we got number 22. What number are we going to tonight? What time is it? 8 o'clock. <gasps> P.S. For anyone that was interested, I think I was talking about the Medicube. Um, they're like those... I know. See, do you see how red my arm looks right there? It's so red. Uh, look at me. See, I think you can see it more, like, right there. It's just, like, right here. The other one isn't as burnt as this one, but this one is super burnt. Hi, Kimberly! I was outside all day, Hana. I was, like, gardening, and I was, um, what's it called? I was pressure washing everything outside so it looks fantastic oh you guys want to see some photos i didn't take any like really good photos of the backyard but um i cleaned the we have like in like the fence at the very back of the house it's glass and 
I cleaned it. Like, I feel like this is the best I've ever cleaned it. It looks so, so good. I have Rain-X to thank for it, though, because the last time I did the glass back there, I put Rain-X on it. So it just made it so much easier to clean and, like, streak-free. And it looks so good. Like, it doesn't even look like there's glass there anymore. It just looks clear. Like, it's amazing. So that's, like, doesn't that look so good? Like, you can't even see it. Like, the glass is gone. There's nothing there. It's just visible. So, and then I also moved, uh, there's, like, a giant, like, a, like, the outdoor chair thing back there next to an umbrella. Um, no, Kathleen, they haven't come yet. They're actually going to come this weekend. So that should be really fun. They're coming on Sunday and then Monday. So it's going to be a weekend extravaganza. But that's how the back looked. And I pressure washed everything back there, all the stones and everything too. So I was very happy. And yeah, like... The sun was out today. Oh, thank you, Dawn. Um, do I have another photo? What is this? I think it's just the same thing. No, that's nothing. What's this? No, that's boring, too. Um, I guess all I have, the only other photos I have, I, I took some photos of some of the plants. So, there is one side of the courtyard. I was trying to, like, organize the flowers and trees and plants and stuff. So there's that one. And then, I think this is the other side. Oh, yeah, here's the other side of that area. And I was just, like, pruning the plants and stuff. And I added soil with, like, my mom and I added soil and fertilizer and all the good stuff. Oh, uh, thank you, Odelia. And Kathleen, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Don. But those are the plants. I'll, I'll have, um... I think I'll do, like, a proper backyard tour sometime this week before um, my friend, my mom's friends come. Because so I should have the backyard, like, in tip-top shape within the next few days. It's just been a lot of work cleaning everything. And I've been pruning all the plants. There's so many plants back there. And I... What are they called? Um, I thought that there were gophers back there because something dug a hole underneath one of our... like in, We have planters on the other side of the house, those raised planter beds. I don't know if you guys remember those. But something dug un up underneath like one of the planters. And it did it like two or three times. And I was like, what are they? I thought they were gophers. They were squirrels. And I didn't know that squirrels dug holes. I thought they just climbed on stuff. But there were squirrels, like a family of squirrels that were like digging up. I, I saw them and they were like running and I had to like fill up the holes like 50 million times. And yeah, today was the first day that they didn't dig up the backyard again. So I'm hoping that it stays that way because they made a huge mess. No, Kathleen, they were they were squirrels. I don't know when the squirrels started digging though. It was kind of annoying. But there was so much dirt in the backyard, like from where they dug it up. And I kept having to put the dirt back and then they dig it out again. And it was just very messy. Same Kathleen, I thought so too. But I saw the squirrels going in and out of that hole. So, unless something else was digging it, and then they were just using it. But the hole was, I don't know, was it big? How big are gopher holes normally? 
I don't know. But I hope they stay away. Because it was really annoying back there trying to clean up after them. Wait, do I have a photo of the hole? I think my mom took photos. I don't remember if I took any. Because I was just so sad. Let's see. I have a photo of how it looked back there. Also, I'm trying to fix my fountain in the front of the house because it got clogged because of all the food that the crows, like, have been putting in the water. They've been, like, clogging up the fountain, and I have been in the process of, like, cleaning it out and, like, trying to get it to work again. Okay, I don't have a photo of it. I'm sorry of where they dug it out. I'll ask my mom, and I'll show you guys next time. But... It was intense. I just have a picture of a bunch of donuts. <laughs> Those donuts are so good. Yeah, way better than having pictures of um, my dugout backyard. The hydrangeas are looking really good, though. They're opening up. I don't have a good photo of those either. Okay, anyway, sorry. I got sidetracked. I started looking at my own photos. Who am I? Alright, next. Uh, prairie dogs. <laughs> Wait, do we, have, are, do we have prairie dogs in California? Are prairie dogs that cute, though? Well, squirrels are cute, too. But not when they dig up your backyard. Do you think if I make friends with the crows like they do in TikTok videos, they'll stop, like, filling up my fountain with junk? Because it's getting a little disconcerting. I, I, I don't want to have to, like, buy, like, a new fountain pump and, like, try to install it. Because I don't know how to do that kind of stuff, and I don't want to have to learn. But our next item is a Gurkha uh, briefcase laptop bag. And it's in this beautiful golden brown leather with brass hardware. I love that these handles, you can push them in and out. So if you don't want handles, you can hide them away. You have like a little thing inside of there that they slide into. Or you can slide them out and have the top handles, which is really cool. Yeah, there was a big mound of dirt. What's crazy is they dug underneath the, um, what's it called? They dug underneath the planter bed and like out the side on the bottom. But then they also dug in the planter itself. And then there was like a hole on the side of like the interior of the planter. So they actually dug two holes, one up top and then one down below. So... But this is, is this the first time this is, no, this isn't the first. This is the first time that they dug in the actual ground ground. I've seen holes before in the planters themselves, but they've never actually dug around, like, the bottom of the planters. Reminds me of the movie Caddyshack. <laughs> I've, have I ever seen that movie? Um, the crossbody strap, too, is adjustable, and... Are these removable? They are removable as well. And the interior uh, just has two pockets, and then there's like a pen pocket inside of there. And it's in this uh, like checkered green and blue fabric. And this is Dumper 22. Gurkha brown leather uh, laptop briefcase bag with and brass hardware. Okay, we're doing this one for 120. That's gonna be item number 22. 
these are really expensive. Um, I think they retail for like fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars for these guys. I used to have the black one, but that one already sold. Yeah, you know what though? The crazy thing is, we actually don't have anything planted in that particular planter bed that they dug up. So we were in the process of planting something in it. Like we were getting the soil ready and all that stuff. Like we put new soil in it and then we added like nutrients back into the old soil and mixed everything up. So I don't know. There might have been some potatoes maybe inside of that one. But now that I think about it, I don't think we actually put any potatoes in that particular one. They were like the ones at the back. But go first. Okay, next up, 23. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't have anything planted because that would have been awful if we had something planted there and then they dug it up. I would have been so upset. I told my mom I just wanted to, like, plant, like, flowers in them and put, like, the vegetables and stuff somewhere else. I just want a bunch of flowers in the backyard. It's so nice having fresh flowers all the time like to be able to cut and put inside the house it just changes the mood you know always having fresh flowers just make sure you're not allergic to them because i think i'm allergic to some of the flowers and i just bring them inside anyway and then I, my eyes are pretty much just like shut from my allergies going crazy uh our next item this is a coach crossbody bag and it's in a cream pebbled leather and then it has this snake and boss printed leather all around the bottom and corners of the bag. It has gold hardware. The straps are convertible, so you can wear it as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. There is a pocket right there in the back. Turn lock is on the front in gold. There are some light marks on there. West Coast Gal, I'm, I'm burnt. I got a sunburn from the sun. It's really bad when you see it from this angle. Like, this is... Like, yeah, it's crazy. The other arm isn't as bad, but this right arm, this is the arm, too, that I was, um, what's it called? This is the arm that what I was using to spray down the backyard with the pressure wash. And it is, it is, took a beating, I'm telling you. I need, <laughs> I put stuff on it, so it should be okay, but it's really red still. <laughs> My other arm didn't get as bad though, which is good. Like it's honestly like only a little red, like right there, but this one is like intense. Yeah, I know, so sunburned. My face not too my, my nose like i feel like is kind of got a little bit sunburned and then a little bit like on like the high planes of my cheeks but i wore like this giant hat and i had so much sunblock on but yeah i haven't spent so much time in the sun in a really long time which is probably why i burned so easily today <laughs> <laughs> But, I don't know, it's good. I'm getting a little bit of color, I guess. Because I have been really tasty. <gasps> I have to show you guys, Cade. Cade is so tan. And then my mom was like, oh my gosh, Cade. That's how tan your uncle used to be when he was on the tennis team. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was that tan before. Uh, oh, I forgot to open up the bag. Interior looks like this. There's a, actually a pocket right here. And then interior is microfiber, and then there's just one pocket right there. And it's nice and clean inside and out. The only thing is it's missing uh, the hang tag, which is right there. So. <gasps> oh, Tanya, are you okay? Actual burns are, like, awful. Those hurt so much. 
Uh, 23. So this is our cream pebbled leather and snake print leather coach flat bag with gold hardware. So this one's going to be 75. And that's number 23. Next up is 24. <laughs> it's so it's ah when I angle it like that's where it's really it's like this part of my arm like the uh, like this other side is fine it's just that one I also wore a black shirt because I was like if I don't wear a black shirt right now you'll see how red my face actually is I feel like <laughs> Oh, I was wearing um, a light green shirt today while I was in the garden. That way it doesn't like, um, yeah. It was a light green shirt, but... And the sleeves were pretty long, too, on that shirt. It was like a really baggy shirt. That's why the sunburn starts right here, because my sleeve went all the way to, like, right here. I should have just worn long sleeves, though. Now I know why people wear long sleeves when they're working in the garden. That should have been me. Next up, I have a cute little Madewell bag. This is a... Uh, the Madewell... Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. I put some aloe, Laura. I had, like, um, the aloe vera gel stuff. So, like, it's okay. I can't cut my mom's plant beating. Okay, so this is the mini transport tote from Madewell. And it's in this woven leather. has a little top handle, crossbody strap, is removable and adjustable. Um, it's in really, really good condition. This one is in like new condition. It does have this little thing up top so you can kind of, like, close it. And then the interior has just one interior zipper pocket right there. But it's so cute. It's a cute little size. And I love I love a good woven leather. So Bottega Veneta vibes. This is our golden brown woven leather made well uh, mini transport tote with brass hardware. And this guy is We're gonna do this one for $60. And this one is in like new condition. That's gonna be item number 24. And then 25. Right, Linda? I have a big Madewell. It's this one right here. I have a larger transport tote. Um, this one is in a cream leather. Um, it does have the cross body strap. It's on the inside. Right there. There's a front pocket. And then the interior has a zipper pocket. There's a little bit of discoloration on the inside, but nothing crazy. Just, like, normal wear. Um, it still has the original tags attached, but I, I guess whoever owned it just left the tags on still. Um... The bag does have, like, patina kind of throughout. It has marks on the exterior. You see those marks right there. And on the side. There's the back. This would actually be, like, a pretty fun project bag. What if I do this? If, you, if anyone buys this, I can paint it any color you want. I think that'll be fun. It should be pretty quick, too. So, um, we can paint this or dye it black if anyone wants this guy. So, this will be item number 25. Oh, thank you, TT. Yeah, Laura, like, I honestly don't really feel 
anything on it except it's like a little itchy feeling but i'm good it does i, I feel like it looks a lot worse than it is This is our Madewell Transport Tote in Queen Mother. Will paint any color you like. And how much is this one going to be made, Okay, we'll do this one for... 75 again i am going to paint it whatever color you want if you want it as is though it'll be 45 dollars. but if you want me to paint it um it'll be 75 and i can do any fun metallic um i have metallic blue green copper uh purple would be so pretty um i have gold pewter, brass, and then like any regular colors too. What if I just painted it myself and it'll just be a surprise? That'd be fun. It would be cool to do the pocket like a different color and the handles a different color, but I might just be getting, going over one, like getting crazy. I don't have time to do this right now actually. I gotta get ready for my mom's friends to come over. <laughs> Not me wanting to work on a project. Hey, Fatia, how are you? Oh, Hadrian's arm is burned. I got a really intense sunburn. Ooh, that's fun, Hana. I saw a Prada bag on the back cover of the new Vogue. Ooh, Marjorie! What does that look like? What happened, Adrian? You said you're you're screaming something. Yeah, like something dramatic happened to you. Mm -hmm. All right, 26. Um, Marjorie, if you could send me a photo, I could probably do something like that. It just won't ship out till next week because I'm not going to be able to um, probably work on it until after Monday. All right, next up is 26. Oh, like a, like this color beige, and then there's like a circle, like a green, like a, it was like a green circle in the middle. Ooh, that would actually be kind of cute. I would just have to, like, paint a circle. Well, I could use a stencil. Ooh, no, I actually have one of those things. It's like, or my mom does. And you, you can cut out a circle using, like, her little doohickey. And then I can use that as a stencil. Oh, they're already a compass. Do you guys remember compasses from high school? Or from school in general? Hold on, let me try these sunglasses now that I'm a little tanner. Do they still look ridiculous with my skin tone? Yes. <laughs> it, just, it just made me look more red. See? Now I look. Now you can actually see how sunburnt I am. 
in comparison to these sunglasses. What happened, Vadrian? Vadrian is like always whispering secrets, and I'm like, what are you saying? Number 26. Um, these are Marc Jacobs sunglasses. They're like a cat eye, but only like the frame, like the lenses are the cat eye. And then the frames are actually like a braided silver metal. And then it's the white on the ends. These are Marc Jacobs. And they have a little nose piece as well. Off white, red, and black. Was it Prada? Was it um, Prada, or was it Fendi that did like they did something similar to that too? But then instead, there was like a triangle instead of like a circle. Because these are our Mark Jacobs um, silver braided sunglasses with it's like a gray yeah with gray winged cat eye lenses Okay, we're going to do these for $60. I'm silly, so the more ridiculous sunglasses. No way, Alex. I feel like cool, like fun sunglasses just make you look more exciting and fun. You know what I mean? Like these Loewe sunglasses are like unhinged. I really want the the Loewe balloon sunglasses. Those are so cute. And I would love them in yellow. I think it would be so fun. Also, I have a pimple on my nose, which is like right here, and it's so annoying. Can you see it? Now that I pointed it out, everyone can see it. You'll never stop seeing it. It's like right here, and it's awful. I got it from yesterday from being in the sun. Whenever I spend too much time in the sun, it makes me break out. Isn't that awful? That's why I can't be in the sun, because it makes me break out on my face. What are the wildest pair of sunglasses that I own right now? I'm trying to think. Like, these, these Fendi's are pretty fun. Like, these are cool. Like, they're huge. They're, like, large and in charge. With, like, the little... Do you guys remember the D-squared jeweled sunglasses that I used to have? Those were so cool. I think Carmen bought them. And I, I still think about those glasses like every day. My mom thinks about them too. She's like, do you remember those jeweled sunglasses that you had? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, those were so cool. And I'm like, I know. And I'm like, I hope Carmen's enjoying them because they're such fun sunglasses. I love that Hepatia. Ridiculously fashionable. I love that. I feel like my Chanel sunglasses are pretty crazy. No, they're not that crazy. I have like those round Chanel sunglasses with like the, the chain. I love those. Those are so cool. Hipatia, you too. We all think about those sunglasses. They're iconic. Hey, there's... Speaking of Carmen, there she is. How's it going, Carmen? We were just talking about you and the D-squared sunglasses. <laughs> you hope she's not enjoying them, so she'll sell them to you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, our next item is number 26. 
six. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Now I want to look for my Chanel sunglasses. Where are they? Is it just my imagination that I think that they look crazy? Are they not really as fun as I thought they were? Well, the yellow balls yagas are kind of cool. Hold on, these are pretty fun. Not me trying to find them and not being able to locate them. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think these are like... I feel like they're not that crazy now that I think about them. But I have these. I love these Chanel sunglasses. They're like round and mirrored, and then they say Chanel on the sides. Like these are pretty cool, but I guess they're like not like too over the top. But these, I like. I think these are the sunglasses that I get the most compliments on. These round um, Chanel sunglasses. So they have like the chain and then it's also a chain on the sides and then the chain around the thing. Like these are super cool. I just wear them like that. Oh my gosh, it hurts my pimple. Now I can't wear these because my pimple is like attacking me. <laughs> but yeah, and then you just like wear them around your neck. I love wearing them just like this. Aw, uh, thank you, Alex. Ugh. Now my pimple is, like, hurting me. Okay. I need to put, like, a pimple patch on or something. I need to do a skin detox. But you're right, Vijay. Those yellow Balenciagas are pretty fun. If I can find them. I think they're lost. Oh, here they are. Yeah, Hipatia. The I don't know how I got so lucky with those sunglasses. Um, because the chain itself is like literally like they add like a thousand dollars. These are pretty fun, but they're like not like too in your face because they're like yellow and more clear, but these are really fun. Carmen, I can't, I, I can't. I'm holding on to those, at least for the time being. You know what sunglasses I really want? Those round Chanel sunglasses and they say Chanel like on the frames. Those are so cool. You know, um, certain sunblocks make me break out too, Alex. But the sun in general, when I, my skin, my face is in the sun for too long, it makes me break out, even with sunblock on. Um, but yeah, I know what pink stuff you're talking about. I have the Mario Badescu, the drying lotion. Yeah. I, I've had this since yesterday, and I've been putting it on, but... Just being outside in the sun today, I aggravated it some more. And I can't wear sunglasses because it touches it and then it gets, it gets worse. Um, these are going to be number 26. These are our extra large Celine uh, tortoise shell sunglasses. Oh, Alex, they're Balenciaga. I'll do those next. But these are huge. These are Celine. These are old Celine? No, these are new Celine. And these are just 120. That is it's cheap, actually. <laughs> okay, so these are number 26. Um, these are 120 for these Celines. And then... For what? 
What was the other 26? Oh. Uh, in... How much were the March tickets? This is why I shouldn't be doing this. The retinoid or whatever is called makes you sensitive. Oh yeah, any retinoids will make you sensitive to the sun. But my skin's always been sensitive to the sun and breaks out when I'm in the sun. So it's not anything new. Okay, um, oh, so the yellow sunglasses, these were Balenciaga. They have a silver frame, and then the lenses are yellow, and then the ends are clear. This is how those look. But they're cool. They're like triangles. They're pretty fun. But these are Balenciaga. And they also say Balenciaga on the lenses. Like, they're like spelled out, but like can't see them unless you look really hard and like really close so like unless like you're looking at them like this close to your face you're not gonna see it but staring into the sun will be great uh, Linda that's true though No way, Carmen. That's crazy. We're all so worried about your skin. <laughs> I know, Steffi. Thank you so much for being so concerned about my skin. Because I'm always obsessed with my skin. <laughs> I don't even have, like... My skin isn't even that great. But I'm, like, so obsessed with it. Oh, thank you, Linda. I like them, too. They're, they're actually really cool. Even my mom likes them. Which is weird, because she usually doesn't like sunglasses that are not, like, rectangular. Uh, so these are Balenciaga um, silver frame sunglasses with yellow lenses. Okay, we have these for 115 that's going to be item number 28. Oh, but I was talking about the Medicube devices earlier, and I never got to finish my thought. But um, today, if anyone's interested in buying one, I might actually just end up buying it because I'm, like, so obsessed. I can't stop thinking about them. Um, but the Medicube devices that I was talking about a few lives ago. Um, so stop, Alex, you're calling them number 28. Congratulations. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> Yay, congratulations! Um, they're 40% off. Today's the last day to get them for 40% off on the Medicube website. So, anyone's interested in them, um, this is like the biggest discount I've ever seen them do. So, 40% off. And they are definitely the perfect summer sunglasses. Agreed. They're really nice. And they're nice and lightweight, too. And if you don't have a pimple on your nose like I do, you'll be able to wear them in comfort. Alright, next up. Sorry, I'm, like, so chatty, but if anyone's interested, <laughs> like, like, no, I'm, like, not an affiliate, but, like, obsessed. Um, Medicube. This is the website if anyone's interested in buying it. <laughs> Or like seeing the device, this is the link for their website, and it's the um, yeah, get that. It's the a the booster H, is the the glow booster H is the device. But they have a bunch of different devices. You can actually get all four of their devices for only eight hundred and fifty two dollars, which is expensive, but you get all four. And it's, yeah, originally 1420 for all four. <gasps> There's only three hours left for the 40% off. 
The last time they were on sale, they were 31% off. And I think it's because there was like this influencer in his birthday. He was turning 31 and then he had that discount. So he got 31% off. But this 40% off discount is amazing. Oh, Alex. Okay, cool. Um, the Medicube, it's like, uh, it's this device. Well, they have a bunch of different ones, but the one I was speaking of specifically, um, it helps your skin absorb the products that you put onto it, um, by 450%. So it's crazy. So it helps your skin absorb everything that you put onto it. And it helps with a uh, skin tone, texture, elasticity, collagen production, and all that good stuff. And I'm obsessed with um, skincare machines, so I'm already a sucker for those things, as it is. I really wanted to do a microdermabrasion today, too, but I can't do it when I have, um, what is it called, when I have sunburn, so I can't do that anymore. Kathy and I can't afford it either. <laughs> Does anyone want to buy a Chanel bag so I can buy a new skincare device? <laughs> I'll let you guys know how it is. If you come over, I'll give you a, a, a free demonstration. All right. Our next item is going to be number 29. I think. Beatering, is that really what number we're on? Hey, Susu, how are you? Okay, our next item. I have so many sunglasses. I did not know that I had this many. No, Carmen. I don't know. That's old. Oh, thank you, Susu. <laughs> Hana. <laughs> um, yeah, Carbon, it's sold. I'm pretty sure. But we'll check, because I don't... Yeah, I'm not sure if the person that bought it paid yet. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. And if it's still available, I'll let you know. I know, Laura. And you, I put so much sunblock on, too. I literally had, like, three layers of sunblock. And then I actually applied... I reapplied my sunblock, like, on my face, like, a couple times. But... And I wore, like, this giant hat. But I still got, like, a little sunburn. So... But it's not, like, the worst. I feel like it's not that bad on my face. It's my arm. I only put sunblock on once which is probably why this happened. <laughs> Linda, that's like my, my <laughs> that's what my mom says to my dad. You don't know what you're talking about. All right. Our next item is, help, I can't reach. Oh, I still have this really cool, um, this is a Marnie and uh, Porter collaboration, the, the brand Porter. Did you go on a boat? Alex, I wish I was on a boat. I was doing manual labor in the backyard. <laughs> I was cleaning and gardening. And the thing is, I was probably sweating it all off. Which is why I probably got sunburned. And I kept, like, patting down my face. So. I probably reapplied for nothing. Because it was probably melting off within 
minutes of me of reapplying. Uh, Marnie and Porter collaboration tote. It's in this fun geometric graphic nylon, and it's kind of like puffy too, which is cool. There is some wear though on the fabric, especially at the bottom. You can see there's like a little tiny um, snag right there, and just like kind of like wear like. No, there's no tears other than a little snag, but you can see that there is some wear on the bottom part of the bag. Uh, there's two front pockets right here. There's a crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable. Then you have the top handle. It zips across the top. And then the interior has a zipper pocket. This little Marnie tag is like right there. And there's two pockets on the other side. I was wearing a hat too, but not long sleeves. I should have worn long sleeves. I was just wearing like a really oversized shirt, which is why my tan start or my my burn starts right here because my sleeves went down to like right there. But oh, <gasps> Laura, that's oh, that's sad. Carmen, what kind of homework is it? We have study group. Um, you know, I used to have the super goop sunblock stick, which I liked, but um, I like pushed it out too much, and then I tried to push it back in, and then it got like messed up, and like I didn't like that, and then I was just like turned off to it, so I stopped using that. Okay, so this is number 29. This is our Marnie. And this is how much, Peter? Okay, we're going to do this one for $85. This bag is so cute, though, right? Like, look how cute this is. Like, is that not, like, such a cute, like, tote? Sunbum. I should try that. I've only ever used that one sunblock stick. I really want to get, like, um, a good spray one. But I don't, do those spray ones actually work? Like, just to reapply. Like, um, I thought I had one that I liked, but I can't use it on my face. Like, after I use it a couple times, I just feel like it's so gross. I don't, I'll use it, like, on my arms and stuff, just to use it. But I haven't found, like, a good one that I could just, like, spray on my face that I, like, I like the texture or, like, the feel of it. Or it doesn't, like, make my eyes burn out of my sockets. The, you know, I've heard of that one. It's like a Korean one, right? Or is it Japanese? Either way, I think I saw a TikTok about that. All right, 30 is up next. Oh, I forgot I had this. Am I going to do this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of Hermes totes from earlier, I don't know. I, should, I feel like I should just keep this in my collection. Well, we were speaking about Hermes totes earlier, I guess, like, it manifested this back into my life. I had it over there with a pile of other bags. I honestly, like, thought I lost it. I was like, where did I put that bag? Then I was like, did I accidentally sell it to Crossroads? Did I have it, like, in a random bin or something? But, like, I should just keep it, right? Or should I sell it? 
It has three pockets in the front, which I love. I love that. There's also three pockets on the back. Um, the only thing is, the only thing is, like, one side, the little snap is, it's, like, broken, so it doesn't snap anymore. But, I mean, you don't need to snap the sides. Well, the other side still snaps, though. And, like, the middle snap snaps is pretty snappy. So that's good. Uh, interior has one zippered pocket. So that's good. Uh, corners are good. There's just, um, this one has like a little tear on it. It hasn't like torn all the way through. It's like there's like a couple different layers of it, but that top little piece. Um, and then also a little bit on this side as well. It seems like this left side has, um, that problem. The right side is not as bad. There's some rubbing right there, but it hasn't gone all the way through. And this other side um, is in good shape. Let's just do it. I wish it had a crossbody strap too, Alex. Have you guys seen the backpack? I want to get the backpack like version of these. They're so cute. But this is navy and then it has the brown and navy striped straps. And then it has um, three pockets on one side, three pockets on the other, six all together. And then just one interior zipper pocket on the inside. And let's just put it up. I haven't used it. Hermes navy tote bag. Um, and what are we doing this one for, Vader? Yeah. It's for nursing after I write a seven-page essay. I need to diagnose the patient. Oh, that sounds stressful. I know a lot of people that are nurses. That's true, Hana. You could, um, attach some D-rings onto the sides and then wear it as a crossbody. You can definitely do that. Okay, we're just going to do this. We're going to do it under $100. Uh, we're going to do $95 for it. It's going to be item number 30. And next up, we got 31 Oh, Hepatia is calling it. Congratulations, Hepatia. Woo! Yay for the Hermes toe. I am one bag closer to that Medicube facial device thing. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't actually go to medical school because that would have been so stressful. The MCATs were, like, bad enough. <laughs> I was like, uh... Next up, I have a vintage black Ergo um, from Coach. Strap is nice and long. This is the vintage one. This is um, one of the new ones that they've done. Very similar. Um, the new ones, they have like an, uh, this one has a adjustable strap. And this one is missing the hang tag. But it's all leather. Um, this one is made in Costa Rica. It zips across the top and then interior. Oh, my allergies are kicking in. It just has one interior pocket on the inside, and it's in really good shape in there. So this is going to be item number 31. Um, vintage black leather coach ergo shoulder bag made 
in Costa Rica. Oh, Adelia, you remember? That's so cool. All right, this one's gonna be forty-five dollars. It's gonna be number thirty-one. Forty-five. All right, thirty-two is up next. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Where am I? Where my allergy bed at? Hold on, I have to like. It's always around this time, like, my allergy medicine, like, wears off, and it's like, oh, it's time. It's like clockwork. Every time I see a fitness show, I just think about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Alex. Oh, Dodo Bird's calling it. Congratulations. Number 31. Have you ever, has anyone ever been to Costa Rica? Trip, have you ever been? I've never been to Costa Rica, but I feel like it'd be super fun. Our next item is... Let's do another vintage coach bag. I still have the vintage purple one. This is the vintage um, purple coach Wendy. This one has the hang tag, silver hardware. There's a pocket on one side. Um, it did have like this huge stain right here and I removed most of it, but you can see there's still like a little mark right there. So um, I don't know if it'll disappear completely if you like dunk it or something, but uh, the bag is actually in really, really good condition. Otherwise, like all the corners are really good. Uh, the leather is supple and soft. It's in really, really good condition. Crossbody strap is adjustable. Um, original hang tag, still attached. Zips across the top. And then there's just one pocket on the inside. And this guy is made in Costa Rica as well. And the inside is in pretty good shape. They have Dog Island over... <gasps> no way! They have a Dog Island? Uh, pink vintage coach Wendy with silver hardware. Did I say pink? I meant purple. And this is how much bigger? Okay, this one is $75. I hope you have 300 items. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh gosh. Adrian's not going to be here for, for 300 items. <gasps> I want to eat something. <laughs> My mom made salmon, and I'm really excited about it. They, like, they literally had dinner at the, like, at the exact same time I was starting the live, and I was like, ah. Because we were waiting for my dad to get home, and he got home late, so... I didn't get to eat with them. Our next item, though, is is just across the bay. <laughs> okay, this is a fossil tote bag. This is in a rubberized leather. So this is leather, but it has like this rubberized finish to it. And it's in pretty good condition. There are like some marks on the leather. Like, kind of like, it's kind of like when leather gets kind of like scratch marky things on it. It's nothing crazy, but there are some marks on it, depending on like, um, how you angle and look at the bag. Um, there is some slight, slight, slight discoloration 
on the bottom corners, a little bit of darkening. Uh, that's pretty much it. It has brown leather top handle. It also does have a removable little wristlet pouch right here. It's also in the same rubberized green leather. And the interior is in suede, so it's unlined, but it kind of, it's, it's been treated so that it's not like porous, like regular suede. So it has like that, it's, it's treated on the inside and it has a magnetic snap up at the top. And it's about the size of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. And it's going to be number 20, or number 33. This is our green rubberized leather fossil tote bag with brown leather trim. And this is going to be $35. Oh, uh, I updated my computer the other day. And it finally has that feature where I can use my phone as a, like, a camera. Oh, DG House is calling it. Congratulations, DG House. And I don't know if you guys ever saw, like, when they released, um, or when they did, like, uh, like, a new feature reveal thing or something for that MacBooks that you can use your phone as a camera. And... There's like this thing where it pans down by itself or something. So if you're like working on something in the in front of you, like you just like press a button and then it'll just film. I don't know how it works. It's like magic. But I wanted to use that and then I wanted to do like a handbag rehab with you guys on here. Because then I can just like press a button and then it'll go down there and... I don't know. I still have to figure this out, like, how to use it. So, uh, it should be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I skipped number 32. What was number 32? Oh, it was the other one. How much was that? All right, up next, thirty-four. I already showed all the Chanel's, right? Are you guys sure no one wants a Chanel bag? Adrian's trying to buy a Medicube skincare device. <laughs> Is that like unhinged? Uh, okay, so I did the silver one, the red one, uh, that one, I did the Dior. I also have, this is a Loewe, this is the smiley face, um, this is the Gate phone bag is the name, and it's in this highlighter yellow color with a smiley face on here. Uh, it has brown leather strap and trim with silver hardware. This is magnetic up at the top right here. And then the inside is lined in black leather. And then there's just one little card pocket back there. Also, the sound of this is so satisfying. Love the sound that that makes. And this is in like new condition. It's a great little phone bag, perfect for summer. And I love this, like, neon highlighter color. Oh, wait! Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday, Sheila L! Yay! Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! May all your dreams come true! We wish it was our birthday so we could party too! Yay! Alright. So this is our highlighter... Highlighter, I can't type. Yellow, Loewe, Gate, Smiley Face Bag with brown leather trim and a silver hardware. <gasps> that is true. I could put french fries in here. 
It's like the shape of a french fry box, too. Like, like you know, McDonald's. Oh, excuse me, I got a hiccup. Uh, how much is this, Vedran? Four ninety five. That's cheap. Um. All right. Thirty four is four hundred ninety five dollars. It's in like new condition. Loewe. Four hundred and ninety five dollars. Cheap. This bag is so cute, though. So cute. I like to double this bag up with like another bag. And then it's like just for like your phone, and then you can have like another tiny bag with you, and then just like have multiple tiny bags. It's very cool and very chic to do that, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Trip, I wish I could. Trip, Trip, you should give her one of your Harleys. How many do you have? Do you have like a lot of like Harley motorcycles? Do you have more Harley motorcycles than I do Chanel bags? Now that's the question. Okay, number 35 is next. We all need fancy bags for each other. All right, next up is number 35. This is the other Loewe. No way, what color are they? Do you have a yellow one? Or is that like not a, a Harley color? Do they only come in black? Do you have one of those ones? Okay, wait, hold on, I've always wondered this. <laughs> What are you, wait, what am I going to ask, Adrian? Oh, the sidecar? No, that was the second question I was going to ask. Okay, Adrian was like, you're going to ask about the sidecar. That was the second question that I was going to ask, if you have a motorcycle with a sidecar. Because growing up, um, I don't know why I was obsessed with Vivi Longstockings, but she had a motorcycle with a little sidecar, and like a monkey, and a horse. And I also wanted a motorcycle with a sidecar and a monkey and a horse. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. So, do you have a sidecar? That's question two. But the first question was, do you have one of those Harleys where, like, the handlebars are, like, all the way up here? And, like, is that comfortable? Because I always wonder, I'm like, the people that have, like, their motorcycle handles, like, all the way up here? Like, I feel like all the blood is just, like, rushing out of my arms. And I'm like, how am I going to steer this thing? Like, my hands are all the way up here. So, I was just wondering. Are they all the same color? <laughs> Marjorie. You can win this pair of key sunglasses, though. Let me do the link one more time for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter. We're not giving away a free bag tonight, but we are giving away a free pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Yay. I'm like my own DJ, like, I'm like on MTV. Um, here's the link. I'm going to leave it in the live chat. Those are called a... Oh, it's like you don't have one of those? But have you ever driven one? Or know of anyone that has? Like, how do you, like, all the way up there. I don't know. I just feel like that's, like, difficult. Oh, they had that on Scooby-Doo? I thought they just had the mystery machine. I have a metallic black, blue and white, a red and cherry, and a gray and white. Ooh, those are good colorways, Trip. You need a yellow one, though. Because yellow is my favorite color.
But hi, Kirsten. How are you? We're glad you're here. Also, today is Sheila's birthday. So, say happy birthday to Sheila. Oh. Do their arms get tired of being all the way up here? Because I feel like people that always, like, people that have those motorcycles always go, like, cross-country motorcycling. And I'm like, my arms are literally going to fall off. All right, next up is our white um, Moabe hammock. This is another one that I will paint any color for you or we'll just leave it as is. Um, but I won't charge you extra if you want me to paint it a different color. Um, she is a beauty. This is the size small, silver hardware. She has feet, black, edge coating. Maybe it was Jughead. Trip, you can send me e send me an email with some photos. I'll post up. I'll, I'll put them up right now. Send me an email. I want to. We want to see what your motorcycles look like. Um. So how much was this video? And we're on number thirty-five. Okay, this is number thirty-five. This is our white Loewe hammock, small with silver hardware. And this is 1,250, and that's item number 35. Okay, next up, we got number 36. I think tonight we'll just go to 40. Is that okay with you guys? I wanted to go eat some, some salmon. <laughs> what time is it? 9.30? Trip, my email is right there. Let me know when you send it, and then I'll I'll post the photos on the screen so everyone can see. But yeah, can you please get a sidecar for? that motorcycle that you said because that would be so cool oh hold on trip I'm going to type it out there you go it's hadrian at gmail.com It belongs, stockings is coming into your world. Oh, Marjorie! These are my favorite. Praline pecans from Kirkland, or Costco. They're just the Costco brand. Praline pecans. These are so good. I just like to snack on them. Add them to my salads. They're amazing. Oh, I want french fries and a burger, too. That sounds so good. This is our next item. This is a Coach wallet with a little wristlet attachment right here. It is removable. Pocket. Has these multicolored studs. It does have little D-rings on here for a crossbody strap, but it's not going to come with one, but... You can use it without it, or you can attach another one, or you can even buy the matching Coach one from the Coach website. Uh, it has gunmetal hardware, but since it has like all of the different color hardwares on top, you can really do any color that you want. And it's leather on the inside. It's glove tan leather. It's in this golden mustard color. There's a pocket here, then another pocket, another pocket. Then we have the change zippered coin pocket. And then you have two built-in card slots in the back. This guy is in really great condition. Like new. And this is number... Uh, I don't remember. 
36. Number 36. So this is our teal coach wallet with gunmetal hardware and studs with the rest of it. This is how much, Peter? This one's $75. Gonna have to make do with air fryer fries. Oh, <gasps> that sounds so good though, Hana. Yum. I want some of that. I really can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Kirsten Costco. I love Costco. I'm so sad that my um that my mom and dad went to Costco without me. They went Oh, they went today, this morning. This whole day is like a blur because I was just like sweating outside working. They came home from Costco and I totally missed it because I was in the back. I was working on the on the glass um, wall thing. So I didn't even see the text message where my mom was like, can you come help with groceries? Like they already brought all the groceries inside and everything by the time that I went over there and saw them. I love H Mart. Oh my gosh, the betrayal. I know Kirsten, right? Ugh. I was like, did they have any more praline pecans? Because I'm going to run out soon. I only have half of a container left. Alright. Um, 37 is next. And we have our... This is our Marc Jacobs Heaven Poly Pocket Bag. This is in this light blue plastic. It says Heaven right there with a two-headed bear. And then a jeweled little top clasp inside. When you open it up, you have this cool fabric lining. There's one interior pocket. But this is Marc Jacobs from the Heaven Collection. Super fun. And this is number 37, Mark Jacobs, Heaven, Blue, Plastic Bag. I'm going to put acrylic. Plastic sounds awful. Acrylic. Acrylic bag with jewel top. And this is how much, baby? This one's $250. <gasps> Kirsten, are you serious? That's exciting. Kathleen, did they bring you? <laughs> no, they didn't, Kathleen. Uh, they didn't bring me any praline pecans. My mom was like, we just bought you one. Like, because she bought this for me. Like, literally every time I go there, they never have it. It's only when my parents go together. It's like, they're like magic. But if I'm there, the praline pecans are hiding from me. So they actually bought, they bought me this one last week. And I'm already like halfway through it. But I share with everyone too. Because, like, if we're going to have it on a salad, I'll bring out my praline pecans that I normally keep right next to me at all times. <laughs> and, yeah. I'm so dramatic. Oh, trip! Alright, I'm going to check it right now. Okay, let's see. I'm really excited to see trips, motorcycles. Where are we? Ah, open. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Okay, wait. Your motorcycles are beautiful. Hold on. Okay, this is the first... Oh, I think I have to click on this. Here's the first one. That is a beauty. You're going to have to tell us the names of these two, okay? And then here is the next one. I want to try to get them all in the on screen at once there's the other oh that i don't know which one i like more i think i really like that um that second one is that like a blue or is it silver i really like that one that one's gorgeous here's the next one i like that one too
Alex, I love the chop chai and the kimbap. <gasps> you guys are making me so hungry. And then here is the fourth one. Okay. The deluxe is the blue. That's why I like it. It's the deluxe one that you're going to get a sidecar on. <laughs> Alright, when you get the sidecar, can you drive it down to California and I'll hop in. That's, yeah, I love that. <gasps> Kirsten! The Japanese Kit Kats are so good. Have you ever had the, the matcha Kit Kats? The matcha ones are so good. The Sportster is gray. Is that the last one, Trip? I, I like, I lo like, motorcycles are so cool. I don't know if I could ever actually ride a motorcycle because or like drive one I'd probably just fall off um, oh yeah the second email that's right let's see ooh okay is that you trip is that a Vespa <gasps> Wait, I love Vespas. Is that like a Vespa motorcycle? I have no clue what these are. But that's cool. Okay. Oh! This one has a camping gear on it! Okay, yeah, that's a, for sure a Vespa. I like that gray Vespa. That one's nice. I remember uh, in school, this girl that was in... My OCAM lab class. Yeah, the silver Vespa, I think, is my fave. I like that one. That's a Piaggio. Piaggio. Is that like Mario? <gasps> Kirsten! No way, what did you find? What year is this for you? Same, Hana. Same. But I really like that gray, that gray silver Vespa with like the rolled up stuff on the back. Like, that's cute. I also kind of like that last one with, like, the little caboose. It looks kind of, like, purpley. That one's cute, too. And the first two, they're cool, but they look, like, really sporty and, like, futuristic. I think I like the more classic look. For the Vespa. It just reminds you of like being in Europe. Is it like we're in Italy where they have a lot of Vespas? Oh Marjorie, that's so cool. It's Grigio in Italian. Grigio. It doesn't uh... You found an Armani skirt? That's cool. Kiss lock pink leather. Ooh, I love a kiss lock bag. Kiss locks, I love like a kiss lock. They're just so like, I don't know. I just love opening and closing them. It's, it's like my, I don't like fidget spinners, but like a kiss lock is kind of like my fidget spinner. <gasps> no way. Is it one of those like, Super like gilded mirrors because I love those.
All right. Um, and next up, we have. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost to forty. We're on number 38? 38. Okay, we're on number 38. I'm like, where are... I, I, like, lost my file. Okay, 38 is next. And let's do... Oh, let's do this guy. Oh, let me leave the link for our, um, what's it called? Our Discord group. And you guys can, like, there's, like, so many different sections in our Discord group, too, where you can post photos of your own thrift finds or, um, home decor, food, if you want to share your Instagram or if you're selling anything, too. So many sections, so many things. So here's the link. For our Discord group. I'm glad that you like those um, restoration videos, Trip. Oh! I also finally made an Amazon storefront. I'm very proud of myself because I figured out how to do it. <laughs> I've had like, I don't know, I've had one of those Amazon account things for the longest time. But I could not figure out how to make an Amazon storefront. But I finally figured it out. And I have, um, so far I have, like, three different sections, I think, for my storefront. So, um, you can see, like, yeah. I have, like, my bag repair section. So I have, like, all my, like, most of my favorite products. I didn't get to put all of them, I think. But, um, and then I have my skincare faves, and then I also have one for plants. So, that's, um... Oh, wait, hold on. I think it'll you will be able to click on it if I don't put that bag repair thing. But you should be able to get to all of them just from one of the links. But here is the link for my Amazon storefront. Um, and you can see all my favorite things on there. I need to add more stuff, though. That's not, like, all of my faves. But those, I put, like, the ones that I probably use the most frequently in there. But I'm definitely going to put all the things that I use in there. Um, Haha, <laughs> thanks Kathleen. <laughs> I need to like throw myself a party or something. Um... Oh my gosh, thanks Kirsten. I have to, like, put all of my favorite things on there, though. Oh, Alex, I did see that. That was actually super sweet of him to do that. And he's, like, spent so much... He must spent so much time on it. Okay. Wait, where did you, um, post the photo... Kirsten. Oh, they're fine. Look at their finds. Where are we? They're fine. Sometimes we have so many texts, like little threads in the Discord that I cannot like ever find what I'm looking for. Uh, finds? No, wrong. Wait, when is the new... <laughs> I, I was like, I clicked on something and I saw like Henry Cavill winking. Um, when is the new Witcher season coming out? Does anyone know? Okay, I feel like I cannot find it. Where is it? Did 
Adrian, can you find it? Oh, I know. Here it is, I think. Oh, I found it! Oh my gosh, I am so blind. That mirror is everything. Okay, so here's the mirror that Kristen found. That is so cool. And then she also found these shoes. And then, oh, this is the kiss lock bag. It's so cute. It looks kind of like the hobo one that, uh, that you got from me. Very similar. Uh, oh, Marjorie's calling them Longchamp Wallet. Congratulations, Marjorie. Yay! Uh, I believe that was number 19. Yes, it was. Congratulations. Now you can add it to your long chomp collection. That's awesome. Okay. Where'd the wallet go? Oh, where, oh, where did that pink wallet go? Oh, it's literally right in front of me. What is wrong with me? Okay. But those are awesome finds, Kirsten. Congrats. I know, Kirsten. I'm like, wait a minute. We have so many different like text channels and threads. I'm like, where is it? Okay. Congratulations, Marjorie. That's an awesome wallet. You're going to love it. And then we are on... What number of favorite? Oh, 38. Okay. I thought we were on 40 already. All right, 38. We got three more. Hadrian's stomach is calling. I got this guy right here. Is um, This is a coach um, quilted puffer, like, lunch bag style bag. And this is in the color, I believe, lime. And it's in like new condition, has the hang tag, cross body strap, there's a pocket in the back, there's a pocket here in the front with a little turn lock. This zips open, and then he has the interior, it just has one little pocket, and it has all of the little uh, care booklet thing right inside of there. And this is gonna be number 38. This is our coach quilted puffer lunchbox style bag in lime with brass hardware and this guy is how much featuring isn't it so cute linda okay we're gonna do this one for 175 i love this bag. look how cute it is like isn't that so cute on adorbs Angela, let me see. I think it does. Oh, yeah. Phone for sure fits inside of there. And then zips up perfectly. So, phone does fit. And that's number 38. Ah! June 29th. Oh, thank you, Angela. Okay, I'm going to have to, like, mark that on my calendar. That is just in nine short days. Can't wait. It's, like, his last season, too, right? Like, this is his last season of being the Witcher in The Witcher. The other Witcher, like, the spinoff show, honestly wasn't my fave. So. Oh, yeah, for sure, Linda, right? Like, it opens up really nicely, and then it has the gusset, so stuff's not going to fall out. But it just, like, opens up really nice across the top. Alright, 39 is next up. And let's do... Oh, 
Oh, is he really, Hana? I did not know that. I wonder how that would be. I just, I only am, I, wait, wait, Liam, he's, he plays Thor, right? Liam Hemsworth? Or is that his brother? Oh, no, that was Chris Hemsworth plays Thor. Liam Hemsworth is his brother that dated Miley Cyrus. Yeah? I don't remember if he was married. But they are together for sure. He also... I know! I heard about that too, Alex. Like, he wasn't going to reprise... Like, I... Like, he was supposed to be in the talks to reprise his role as Superman for the DC films, and then something happened, and then he's not anymore. So. Yeah, DC is kind of a hot mess right now, so. <gasps> Wait! Trip! I was literally going to talk to you guys about that. That's good news. Because how, how long have they been missing for? Well, they haven't found them, but they think they might have found them. Um, this is a Alexander Wang wallet on chain in black. Open this top flap has a zipper pocket. And then there's actually a compartment here in the middle. And then there's a back compartment that zips. And this is where the card slots are. It's in good condition, but the hardware does have discoloration. There's supposed to be silver, but a little bit of the copper is coming through. But I feel like it looks cool. It looks more aged and lived in. I feel like that's how Alexander Wang bags are supposed to look. Kind of like that Balenciaga kind of thing. Um, so this is number 39. This is our black Alexander Wang Prisma wallet on chain with silver hardware. And this is how much food? I want to see the flash. Okay, and this one's $65. And she made the epic, yeah. I can buy myself flowers. But they can actually get to the submersible. <gasps> Did you guys see like, the video of, like, what that submersible actually looked like. Because when they are talking about it, like, in previous, like, things that I saw, like, I thought that submersible would be, like, A, a lot bigger, and then B, a lot less, like, I made it in my backyard. <laughs> Like, it's crazy. Like, he was talking about it. Like, he was like, oh, yeah, I got this camera from, like, Radio Shack. And it's like, it, I don't know. It was kind of strange. <laughs> Linda, that my mom says the same thing. She's like, what is this flower song that always plays? They don't, they saw it. Yeah, you know, they, they already filmed it with him. So they didn't, like, take him out or, like, re-film or anything. But, yeah, he has a lot of, um, he has a lot of controversy <laughs> surrounding him for sure. Seems like a conspiracy. Wait, which one was a conspiracy? The, the boat thing? Hey, Sarah, how's it going? The, um, Titanic thing? Alex? That one, what, it's, well, that one was actually, is actually true. Hey, Norma! The, the submersible that's missing, like, that's actually a thing. I have no clue. But it was expensive, huh? Like, um, it was like 200, and, wait, was it 250,000 or 220,000? 
or twenty five thousand? Was it twenty five thousand per person? Yeah, and there were like three people that went down with like three people paid, and then there were two people like that were manning the boat. But then they had to go through like a lot of training and stuff. Like it was crazy. Yeah, like the, he was like um, an Indian billionaire and his son, and then some other like really rich person. So, oh yeah, see two fifty thousand. So it's two fifty per person. So that was like, yeah, seven hundred and fifty thousand that they paid to go down there. And then there were, like, two guys that were, like, manning it. But then everyone had to do, like, all this training and stuff to go down. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of rich people on that boat. Or in that submersible. I wouldn't even call it a sub. It was tiny. It was, like, this big. It was the size. It was... It was, like, the size of, like, I don't know, like a, like a, a Mini Cooper. I was going to say, like, a Camry. Oh! Hi, Norma! That's Carmen's mom! Hello! How are you tonight? Thanks for joining us. You came right in time. I have one more item to share with you guys. Number 30. <laughs> Sorry, we're just chatting about that submarine thing. You know, I've never, ever been in an Uber before. I've never been in an Uber. I don't even know if people have Uber where I live. I'm sure they do. I don't believe it, Peter. There's no Uber there. <laughs> Would you guys believe me if, like, I told you that we don't have buses where I live? <laughs> like, the only buses we have are, like, school buses. I don't think I've ever seen, like, a regular bus where, like, in the town where I live. Um, this is our last item for the night. This is an orange coach crossbody bag. This is a special edition one. It's in this beautiful, like, orange red color with gunmetal hardware. So pretty. Has hang tags. There's a back pocket right there. This opens up. There's a front pocket. This zips across the top. This is actually a special edition. It was, re it was released for the 75th anniversary of Coach. Uh, it's in really great shape. It does have some light marks on the top flap, but nothing crazy. Otherwise, those are pretty much the only signs of wear on the bag. And this will fit your cell phone. And this is going to be the number 30. Tell that community that show sub footage of it. Okay, this is our orange coach flap bag with gunmetal hardware. And this is how much? 85? Of course. Uh, here's my phone. Fits right inside. And this does zip across the top. Did I say that? So it does zip across the top. Um, I don't think it'll fit in the back pocket. Yeah. Phone doesn't fit in the back pocket. It'll just fit like that. But it fits inside the bag itself. And this one is $85. But yeah, I've never Ubered. I've never ordered Uber Eats. I've never... You know, I've, I don't think my family has ever ordered pizza before like to be delivered to your house like hola Norma <laughs> that's Carmen's mom nice Jean that is a good deal <laughs> but yeah well, there, there's probably Ubers in this town, in the town where I live, but I feel like I'm, like, I feel like I'm Belle, and I just, like, live in a little village where everyone drives cars. Little town, it's a quiet village. 
Why did I put number 30? I meant number 40. Every day like the one before. Never. Oh, that is a good one, Hypatia. Hold on. Let me, like, save your little comment. Okay, I have to remember that. That's a good one. Never have I ever. Never have I ever ridden in an Uber. U ordered Uber Eats. Ordered pizza to be delivered to my house. No. My parents are always like, we're just going to go pick it up. We've never had... <laughs> we, we've never had, like... Yeah, no, we've never we've never ordered food to be delivered to the house before, like take out. We always would go pick it up. Yes, Laura, I love that. My mom likes to make a pizza too. You're out of Marjorie out of pizza delivery range. <gasps> that game could be incriminating. It's only incriminating if you put something incriminating, Hana. Just put something not incriminating. Like, never have I ever... Um, what's, like, something crazy that I've never done that a lot of people have done? <gasps> I've never been in a taxi. No, I've been on a roller coaster. Yeah. I don't like roller coasters, but I've been. Like, I've been on Space Mountain. That's a roller coaster. I would not want to go to, like... Oh, I've never been to Six Flags. Because I don't like roller coasters. Alex, exactly. Oh, Car that's so cute. Thank you so much, Norma. We appreciate you. The voice you made for your parents. Wait, did I make a voice for my parents? What voice did I make? <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewatch. I was very wild when I was younger. Not me. <laughs> I've never driven under the influence. No. Well, I, I am. A, I'm allergic to alcohol, so if I got drunk, I'd probably be in the hospital. <laughs> Uh, it's a true orange. I think the lighting is just really bad and it makes it look like an orangey red. It's actually like a true orange for sure. This It just looks orangey red on camera for some reason. Oh, I've never gone done, gone done, gone skydiving either. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sheila. I wish I had something like actually orange, orange to compare it to. What else is something normal people do that I've never done? Oh wait, wait, wait a minute! We gotta save this for the next live. We can't let it. Like, we can't tell everyone all our secrets right now. We gotta save it. All right, if anyone has any questions though about anything, let me know. I'm gonna leave the link for the giveaway one more time because we're giving away this awesome pair of key sunglasses tonight. Oh, I've never been on a motorcycle. There's that. Never been on a motorcycle. I have rollerbladed. That's why I have this. That's why my ankles are messed up. Because I would, I, I would go rollerblading and I would not wear socks. Never have I ever tried spray. <gasps> I've never tried spray can cheese either. And I've never been to see the Titanic underwater in a submersible. Deep sea fishing. <gasps> you know, I've never been deep sea fishing, even though I worked for a marine. I worked in a marine biology research lab, but everyone else would go fishing, 
like deep sea fishing, they would catch like all sorts of things. But like I studied grunion, and grunion come up to the literal shore to like lay their eggs. So I didn't even have to get in the water. I would just like be on the beach, which is fine because I have like this. I have this fear that if I go into the ocean, like all the sharks are just gonna come and attack me. So, yeah. I used to think when I was little that sharks were gonna come out of like the shower head and like bite me. So, I don't know why. I love sharks, I think they're so cool. But I have like this crazy fear of sharks. But I love watching shark movies. And I love Shark Week. I just, like, don't want to go into the water where sharks might attack me. Never been out of the continuous USA. Oh! Well, I feel like a lot of people haven't been out of the U.S., I was like, wait, my sister has been out of the U.S. because she went, she's been to the Philippines. She's only been out of the U.S. twice? Maybe? What did you think when you read Sai? <gasps> you know what? I think my fear of sharks came from, um, well, not like, yeah, I guess I am. I'm, like, both afraid and, like, super, like, interested in sharks at the same time. Because when we first moved to the U.S., my dad, he was doing his residency in... He was, like, in a different state. Like, we were in U.S. We were in U.S. We were in New York. And then my dad was in... Um, he lived in Virginia, but he was going to Georgetown, in Washington, I think that's in Washington D.C., but he lives in like Virginia or something. But he'd only visit, he'd only like we'd only see him like during the weekends, and so my mom worked and she's a nurse, so my babysitter she was like, um, I think she was like her co work my mom's co worker's mom or something, and her favorite movie to watch was Jaws. So, like, I was, like, this, like, tiny child, and we'd always be watching Jaws all the time. So I think that's why I thought sharks were going to come get me out of the shower. But I'm also fascinated by sharks at the same time. But I think that's where the fear came from. Hmm? Oh, yeah! Let me link the little, uh, my Amazon thing again. Okay, I was in the no Crocs till this year. They have some crazy comfortable sandals and they don't look like Crocs. <gasps> Alex, I used to think that Crocs were disgusting as well. And I just got my first Crocs this year also and I'm obsessed. Even though my Crocs look very much... Hold on. <clears throat> I have to show you how cute my Crocs are, but they're really dirty right now. So like, don't look at them too hard. But I have these, like, platform Crocs, and I'm obsessed with them. And I have a little soot sprite on here. It's so cute. And then I have a little cactus that my mom gave me because she got it for free when she bought Crocs online. Because she wanted these same exact Crocs also because she was jealous of how tall I was. And she got them in this beige color, and now I'm jealous of her because she has the beige one, so I also want to get them. But, yeah, these are the most comfortable shoes ever i wear them around the house and it's perfect for reaching tall things high things so i understand they show jaws in the lakes so you're floating yeah i thought the same thing too about uggs i hated uggs and now like I love Uggs. Though I don't like the Ugg boots still. But I do like the Ugg brand. Like, 
I like the Ugg slippers. So, yeah. But, like, the boots, I still, like, don't get them. But, like, whatever. Yeah. <sighs> People that loved Uggs back in the day that I was, that I thought were crazy for liking them, like, I apologize. I wore my Crocs in the garden. I actually, have, like, I have gardening Crocs. And they're, like, a slightly less platform version of the purple ones that I have, and they're orange. So, they're fantastic. Oh, you know, I also like Birkenstocks. They're fantastic. I used to not like Birkenstocks either, but now I love Birkenstocks. I also love Doc Martens now, more than I used to. <gasps> also, growing up, I didn't know that... Um, my shoes were mostly Doc Martens because growing up, I had really wide feet. And my mom was like, they're the only shoes that I could find in a wide for your feet. So, like, a lot of my shoes growing up were, like, Doc Martens. Like, just, like, the black, like, shoes. Because they were the only ones that would fit me. Steffi, yellow ball shoes. Yeah. I can't do a number of people who would bring in nasty puppy runs around. Oh, that is, that would be a turn off though. Especially like, yeah, the Uggs, no, it's not coming up. I think my thing is really slow. Where'd it go? Can you see it, Vadrian, in the chat? Is my chat just not working? Just the link for the giveaway. Ugh, I think my thing is frozen. Ugh, I figured I'm frozen. Yeah, I can't even leave anything in the chat. Oh, it lit, it locked me out. Oh, I think it closed or it froze. Wait, no, is it up now? Is it working? Can you see it now? Okay. I think we almost froze for a second, but I think we're working now. So. Oh, there we are. There we are. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> I think, I think I'm working, no, I can see the chat now, so I think I'm, I think I'm working again, but yeah, we're going to end the live now, though, but I'm going to pick our winner, and then we're going to, okay, perfect. I love that. It would be very super angry. Yeah, if my Uggs were, like, disgusting and stuff, like, I would be too embarrassed to bring my disgusting Uggs to get them fixed. So, yeah. I'd be like, sorry, no. Okay, perfect. All right. Now that we're working, we can select our winner. I just, like, wanted to make sure that we are working. Yeah, I think my my internet glitched also, because, like, the chat froze, and then I couldn't type anything either, so, but, yeah, we're back. All right, we're going to pick our winner in three, two, one, do, 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 do. our winner is Dodo Bird, our, her favorite summer drink is Pink Lemonade, ooh, yummy, that is, that is always a good option but congratulations Dodo Bird you're the winner of our key sunglasses we'll send that over to you but thank you guys so much for hanging out like it was a blast um the next live sale I don't know if I'm gonna have one tomorrow 
probably Thursday or Friday. But I'm not 100% certain. But definitely this Saturday at 10 p.m. is the next live sale. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have another one leading up to Saturday. But I think I will. I'll let you guys know. So don't forget to turn on those notifications. Invoices should be sent out in the next 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again for a super fun night. We had some fun chats tonight, so I'm very, very happy. And I uh, hope you guys all have a great rest of your night. Have a great day tomorrow. Have a great rest of your week. If I don't see you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, good night, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Bon voyage. Bye!